Watchers cook up comfort crock pot slow cooker lasagna recipe right there so that is what we are going to make right now I got all the ingredients ready to go just to make things easier so we need to brown the meat I'm just letting the skillet heat up for a minute Sorry if you can hear my dog outside being a turkey. He is living his best life out there right now. All right, so I got um, two pounds of ground sirloin, um, and I'm going to split it up between this recipe and another recipe we're gonna do. All right, so we're gonna let this brown and white browns. We're gonna start the ricotta mozzarella mixture for the layers. We're gonna set this to the side. All right, so this is browning. We're gonna make the mozzarella mixture. So it is one cup of mozzarella and one cup of part skin ricotta. And then one cup of ricotta. I just did this one. It's what they had at my grocery store. Um, I don't know if I've ever used this one before, so hopefully it's good. one cup of ricotta. I'm going to put that in our bowl. And this is our filling. All right. I got ricotta on the floor, so I'll have to clean that up. <laughs> because of course I did. Um, so we're just mixing this mozzarella ricotta mixture together. I am making a mess. I know, that's shocking. To me, I would never. All right, so that's mixed together. So we're gonna leave that alone. I'm gonna put the ricotta away. We don't need any more of it, but we are using the mozzarella still. It's a good thing. All right, so we just have to brown this mixture here.
All right, so while this is browning, I'm gonna go ahead and toss in our spices. So we have one teaspoon of oregano and one teaspoon of Himalayan pink salt. It said to use kosher salt, but I use Himalayan salt because it's supposed to be better for your blood pressure. And I like it better. So I did not use the olive oil non-stick spray that they said to. Um, it also said one small onion. This was like a medium onion, so I don't know if I'm going to use all of it. We'll start with that and see where we're at. And then one clove of garlic. But of course in Texas, these are the size of our cloves. They're humongous, so let's see if we can get it in here. Let's try this. Start with that one. This one. Hands are washed. So I buy ground sirloin because it doesn't have nearly as much fat that I've noticed when I cook. So I don't have to drain it nearly as much. I'm not even going to drain it at all today um, because, again, it doesn't have that much fat in it. Like, there's like barely any fat here on the bottom. Like, there's like maybe a tablespoon. So I'm just gonna leave it um, for this recipe, let this all cook in. Then we have to add in the um, tomato sauce and the crushed tomato. I skipped the red pepper flakes because I don't like spicy, as you guys know, I told you before. Right, we're gonna let this mix in together. To let this simmer for about five minutes and then I'm gonna bring the crock pot over here and the lasagna noodles so we can start layering everything. This. Sorry I thought I added more than I needed to. No this was right. for a few. And I'll be back. Okay, sorry, the cat is rubbing her face all over the tripod. Stop it. Okay, sorry, had to restart. The cat is rubbing her face all over everything. Uh, okay, we have the crock pot here. It calls for six lasagna noodles, so I have those out. Um, June, leave the tripod alone. Sorry guys, she's messing with it. Um, so we pour a third 
of this mixture into this, and then we break the lasagna noodles in half and arrange it. Then we're topping with one half of the mozzarella mixture. Joni, I know you're very cute, mamas, but... Do half of this mixture. I really like this recipe. We haven't made it in a long time, um, but it's always been an easy favorite of ours. Um, all right, there's half the mixture. quick and easy to do which has been nice um, so we've always really enjoyed that all right let me put the rest of this mixture on Then I'm going to pour the rest of this on top. And then I'm going to cook it. And then once it's done cooking, I will mix the remaining half a cup of mozzarella cheese and half a cup of the grated Parmesan and put that on top. So this will cook like this. So this will cook four to six hours on low. So let me show you what it looks like. So this is where we are at right now. And I'm gonna go put it in the holder on low. All right, y'all, recipe number three. My pharmacy actually gives us these little healthy recipes. So we decided to try one today. So we're going to do the easy taco bake. So there's the instructions and the nutrition facts. So that's what we're gonna do. So right now I'm browning the beef. I didn't do vegetable oil, it says to do vegetable oil. I did olive oil. Um, I only use vegetable oil for baking. Um, so yeah, I didn't do that. <laughs> Cause you know, might as well do what I, I prefer to do. So. I feel like olive oil is healthier anyway. I have the oven preheating to 350. I'm letting this cook. Then we're gonna add, so they wanted to do a hat screen chili ranch rub, but it was like $6 for the seasoning and I didn't wanna pay that much for it um, because I didn't know 
how much we would use that. So I've had this packet of Hidden Valley Ranch seasoning for like weeks at this point, probably month, a couple months that I've literally been using off and on for recipes because it doesn't take that much ranch seasoning. And so it's literally one tablespoon. So I still have a bunch of that ranch packet in there, probably for another, maybe another tablespoon. Um, but at least I didn't have to um, waste it or spend $7 for the big container of ranch seasoning. Cause I don't, I didn't normally use it, um, but a lot of the recipes I've been using lately calls for it. Um, but I'm trying to be one um, mindful and cost effective like with my spending. So if I spend, you know, a dollar or something on a packet of ranch that only needs like a tablespoon per recipe, that'll go for me a lot farther than having a whole seven dollar um, ginormous container because I just don't use it enough, I feel like, to justify that. So we got this going. I'm going to let it keep going. I am going to add in the ranch seasoning now. And we'll let this cook down and then we'll add in the pico de gallo next so that's 14 ounces of pico it calls for 12 i'm not going to save two ounces i'm just going to throw it in here um and then that'll be that i've already cut our tortillas into strips right here um this is frozen organic kirkland brand corn that we already had in our freezer um i gotta cut up some green onions next I haven't gotten there yet. I'm just trying to do the meat first. But this is gonna finish browning. Then I'm gonna add the pico de gallo, cook it for another four minutes. Then we're gonna add in the black beans, corn, tortillas, and low fat sour cream, which I need to pull out. Mix it and then pour it into here. I probably need to grease this. <laughs> so let me do that and get out the sour cream. I don't cook with a lot of sour cream either. So I bought the cheapest, smallest, light version I could find. All right, that's greased now. All right. Is he awake? He took forever to go down for his nap, but now it looks like he's already waking up a little bit. So I need one cup of this. So I'm hoping this whole thing is one cup and then I'm good. Um, I need to cut up these onions. Yeah, this is what we're doing today. We're just cooking. Uh, my husband is grabbing lunch and I think he's gonna bring me a Starbucks pumpkin spice latte because I have not had one all season. And I tried to go get one the other night as like going shopping for myself, getting out of the house because I hadn't been out of the house all week. And uh, they closed right before I got there. So I was a little bummed, but um, it is what it is. So I think he's trying to be sweet and get me one of those. So this is pretty much brown almost. It's got a little bit more to go. Okay, 
then I got sour cream. Oh, it's half a cup of green onions. I thought a cup was a lot. I have a lot of onions, but, you know, what do I know? It's half a cup. All right, so I put half a cup of onions and cheese on top and bake for 40 minutes. So we're trying some new recipes we haven't tried before. We're trying some of our old favorites like the lasagna, the Weight Watchers lasagna. But everything else that I'm making this week is new. I've been kind of in a recipe rut and tired of ground turkey. And I wanted some variety this week. I've been eating a lot of the same things. Um, so I'm trying to spice it up so that we have, we'll have four meals total that we can kind of alternate out and do different things. So I'm excited about that. We're gonna let that cook. So it says this needs to cook for four minutes. And then we'll add in the black beans, corn, tortillas, and low fat sour cream. Oh man, I am tired, y'all. <laughs> I still need to make the cornbread from scratch and then make cupcakes with my boy. Um, I think that's all I have left to make today. Do I have anything else? Oh, I gotta soak those beans, but I will do that in a little bit. Yeah, I try and think about how like our families and like our grandparents and stuff were so frugal growing up and how we didn't have all this convenience food and how they made everything and how they were able to use things up. And so I'm trying to be more mindful about that because like last night I was trying to be more mindful, go to the grocery store and shop myself. I only got a couple of things off that were not on my grocery list, some pears and what was the other thing? There was like one other thing that I got that wasn't on my list. But other than that, I stayed to my list, but it didn't apply all my coupons for some reason, so I must not have hit something right. And then um, I uh, still spent like $20 more, $30, $35 more than what my online basket looked like for shopping online and having them bring it out to my car. And I know that could be like the cost of meat is different and that sort of thing. So that's probably what it was um, on a few things here and there. But I just, it was $190. And now like my husband just went to Costco to get eggs because eggs are so darned expensive. So he went and it was $4.99 for two dozen eggs. So he got that. Um, we were price checking milk. I'm going to make some homemade bread. So hopefully I can do that with you guys today too. Just depends on how things go today. Um, but I wanna make some homemade bread too. I'm gonna to start making our bread from scratch again. Um, that kind of thing. All of this stuff takes time, unfortunately. And so, but it it's a more cost effective way for me to do it. I already have all the stuff to make the bread, I just have to make it. Um, I have a great recipe that I got on YouTube years ago 
That is so easy, you guys. You don't even need it. You don't need the dough at all. You just let it sit. And it does its own thing, and it's fantastic. I love it. So we will be trying to do that today, too. Then my house will smell really good. I can see the oil, oil filling up in the little corners. So I obviously oversprayed. I don't want that much. Um, but the chili we're making today is vegetarian. I am going to try and start incorporating some more meatless meals. Um, just for, you know, to save money and save costs. Because it's expensive right now. So, alright. So we're going to pour in black beans. This corn, like I said, is frozen. We've had it in the freezer forever, so I'm glad I can use some of it. My husband was supposed to be eating it. He has not been eating it. I got a mild pico, by the way. I don't like um, spicy, as I've mentioned several times. Um, so I did get mild. And then sour cream. It says one cup, eight ounces is a cup, so we're just putting the whole thing in there. Because honestly, I'm not gonna use it for anything else anyway. So, done. All right, so now we're gonna mix all this together. Then I have to add the tortillas. We got this in there. Then we gotta add in the tortillas. So this was eight corn tortillas that I sliced in one inch strips. I don't really know why they have you mix it in like this, but Probably should have broken them apart a little better, huh? Somebody is awake. Maybe once I put it in here, I can kind of spread it out a little bit better. It's a heavy pan. not do a good job spreading out these tortillas. Alright, well, don't be like me. Do it differently. I didn't do a great job with the tortillas, so don't don't be like me. Okay. All right. Now we need to cover it with half a cup of cheese and green onions.
now this bakes for 40 minutes uncovered. There's recipe number three, guys. I'm gonna go get my kitty patootie from upstairs. And I will be back to do more cooking in a little bit. All right, this is where we're at. So this is the easy taco bake. It just came out of the oven. <laughs> And then this is the enchilada, not the enchilada, it's the lasagna going. And the beef is going. So we just have to do the cornbread. So I have the cornbread stuff there. And um, make these with my son. And I'm going to try and bake some bread today, but it's already 3 o'clock and I need to go do some more laundry. So we'll see. Okay, so my apologies. I'm making the cornbread right now, but unfortunately I needed my phone for the recipe. So I'll post the recipe for you. Um, it's basically the Albers um, recipe that you buy like the cornmeal at like Walmart or wherever. Um, so this is just one egg the milk and the oil. So one cup of milk, a third cup of oil, and the um, one egg. This is the cornmeal, flour, salt, baking powder, and sugar mixture that I've already stirred together. Again, I'll, sorry, this is the dog. I'll post that recipe um, up on the screen or down below. Um, I'm just gonna pour this mixture together. Stir it. Yeah, I needed the recipe and I, it's on my phone, so I had to not film me getting most of it together. Sorry, I apologize. My husband and son made cupcakes. I realized it didn't come with frosting, but is that really a bad thing? Does he need the extra sugar? No, not really. So he got cupcakes with no icing. There's confetti in it, it's fine. All right, so this is my cornbread batter. This is my um, square pan. It's already greased and washed and all that jazz. I was gonna make bread. I really should have started it earlier because it's gotta rise, of course, even though you're not kneading it, but it still has to rise. So I might try and prep it in the morning and then that way maybe I can bake it later in the day. Um, but yeah, I rewatched the recipe and I just don't, it's already 5.30 almost. So I don't really have time to do anything else with it. Spread this out. I don't normally do it in a square pan, so I'm curious to see how this is going to come out. Um, but I think the recipe called for a square pan actually, but I've never done it, I don't think, in a square pan. I usually do it in this cast iron skillet or like muffin tins, so we'll try it this way today. All right. But here we go. I think it has to bake for like 20 minutes, but I'll double check the recipe. Um, but we're going to toss this in and get the cornbread bacon. All right. Okay, I think this lasagna is just about done. It's been in there for at least four hours and it says cook four to six. So we have half a cup of mozzarella cheese and half a cup of Parmesan. You gotta go inside. You can't just keep opening and closing the door. So. 
All right, we got a little, a little one coming in. Inside or out, make up your mind. So we just put this on. And we let it sit for 10 minutes. And there we go. So we'll let that melt down. And we'll check it again in like 10 minutes. All right, y'all. Sorry, my hair is almost up to Jesus. I used one of those um, blow drying round hair brushes just now after my shower because I just needed a fresh even like start to my evening so I can go to bed. It's after 11 now. Um, I took pictures of everything that I finished with y'all today. So we made a easy taco bake. We made the Weight Watchers crock pot lasagna. We made the shredded barbecue beef and we made the cornbread. Is that it? I feel like I made more. Um, I think that's it. It was a lot, a lot of food. Um, but we got all that done together today. Um, I finished my son's goodie bags for Halloween for his classroom. So that's done. I've already unloaded, reloaded, and restarted the dishwasher, and I still have a sink full of dishes. Um, and I got everything put in the fridge and the kitchen cleaned up a little bit. I left the rest of my husband because I'm done. Um, but I'm gonna wrap this video up here. I hope you enjoyed cooking with me today. Um, I will film the bread recipe. I'm hoping I can make it tomorrow. So if I can prep it in the morning, um, so that it can rise through the day and then I can bake it like at lunchtime, um, I think that would be really good. So we're going to try that. So hopefully I can get that recipe. Um, I got the recipe off of YouTube, so I'll make sure to link her channel. Um, I don't think she posts anymore. I haven't seen any videos from her, um, actively posting in like four years so um i will link her recipe down below and if i can find any of the recipes i used today um online i know i need to attach the cornbread recipe i'll link those below but they're all out of cookbooks so i don't know that i can find them like standalone but i showed you the the recipe but I hope you guys have a great evening. I hope you liked today's video and that you'll like my video and subscribe to my channel below. It's been great having you guys today and I will catch up with you later. Good night.